got to you got to pick a starting point. A starting point. It's got to be in three. No. Two. It's now. One. It started already. It's happening, it my guy. It already thank happened. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. Thank, thank you for you. coming to my new palace, dude. New and improved. I like your new palace. Upgraded in here. So, yeah, wow. it's been a good time. I think the best part is my $10 camera here. I was at Goodwill and I saw it on the shelf and I didn't have a price tag on it. So I asked them exactly. and they were like, that means, 10 bucks. that means it's free. They literally were like, if it doesn't work, bring it back. And I was like, I don't think you understand what I do and why I don't need that. Dude, one but, time one time we went to Home Depot because Parker needed a drum rug. And it was like, same deal. We we like didn't see a price on it. We were like, okay, what's good? Or maybe maybe there was a price. It was like 30 bucks or 40 bucks. And we went up to the front and it like wasn't working. Like Classic. they weren't, they were trying to ring it out and it wasn't going. And they were like, well, we can't. I don't know why the like the manager came over and shit and she was like, "Oh, well we can't charge you like this if it doesn't ring up." Yeah. Like, but we have to charge you something, so we'll give it to you for a penny. So I literally ran out to the car, Hell like yeah. went through change and found a penny <laughs> and came back in and she was like, "Okay." Turns out you got robbed of the website the night before, so there's no change Stop. in the car. <laughs> I would have cried. I would not I would have put it on the card. Dude, penny easy. on the card. Dude, I'm stupid though. I should have gone in and like bought like 20 and yeah. then resold them or something. Or just had mad carpets. That's not a bad idea. Carpet. Go in and just... Yeah, carpet a whole house for like 10 cents. Dude, starting my new show with how to steal from stores. Yes, sir. What better topic can we yes, have here? Yes, sir. Dude, so I haven't told you anything about this. So the name of our show, that was the other part. Oh, yeah, I'm the so first one. You, uh, this is oh, debut this is pilot, not even announced. Yeah, this is pre-announcement. Damn. We got everything. I, I'm leaving for New Orleans in a couple days. So that's like the... Once I am back, then I will announce and get all this rolling. And I'll film some stuff there, and it'll be cool. But, yeah, yeah reincarnated, things are coming back. So we're kind of following up on our last marketing chat. I think the, the goal for me was, like, I loved doing these last time. But yeah. it was a nightmare in terms of, like, setting up a set every time. And then all the editing and the back end was a disaster. And then it felt dumb to only put it on YouTube because I think YouTube is, like, 10% of podcast and, yeah, like, conversation definitely. audio. So it was, like, that's the platform I'm comfortable. But it's not where people are. It's not good. So then it was like, I got to do audio, but if I got to do audio, then I have to like brand it and name it and title it. Cause you can't just like, YouTube was easy. Cause I could just like pretend there were one-offs. Yeah. But then it was like, fuck dude. Like, what do I, I shouldn't swear for no, algorithm. I, already, I think I already swore. Fire dude. Hell yeah. Um, we're getting monetized. We're gonna be millionaires off this one episode. Millionaires, so. baby. Um, Let's go. But yeah, like I wanted to do it, but it wasn't feasible. Yeah. So it worked out. And then the audio part was like, I should do that. I'm going to do it. And that sucks. That's scary. I don't like marketing branding. And then it was like, me neither. I was gonna do, <laughs> I was gonna do like the Peter JT show, and then I was like, that's, it's not about me. Yeah. I'm not like a, I'm not a TikTok star. I'm not mm -hmm. trying to be like, yo. So I ended up with something from everyone, the idea of like learning something from everyone and gathering something that's from sick. everyone. So it feels corny, and I'm still kind of like self conscious about it and figuring it out. But like, nah, I fuck it with had that. to be something written in something. So that's what that's it is. Cool. And that's what's happening. So the reason I got you today. It's because I want to learn from you. Wow. I, I love the marketing thing. It's been fun to like watch it grow from like a casual, like let's get half-hearted videos going. And yeah. then now uh, talking to you off camera, I know it's like becoming more of a, a real thing. Like it is financially Definitely. viable. It is more successful. It is an actual thing instead of just a hobby that's kind of happening on the back burner. You know what's funny too though, now that we were just talking about like what you're, what this is going to be like named yeah. is that I don't have a name for my thing still. Like I just haven't. I don't, I don't think I ever will. I'm just Hell not yeah. going to. Same. That's how I am with like just the literally media not going and video to. stuff. Of like, yeah. yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, I'm happy with Peter JT yeah. media. But like, how did that? It's interesting that you say that because then that tells me that marketing isn't like inside of you. It's something that is interesting to you, but it's not the way that you identify maybe. Like, no, how did you fuck. get into marketing? No. How did this? Uh, we kind of touched on it last time. Yeah. But like, was 16-year-old Jay like no. interested at all in fuck marketing? No. Where did this passion come from? Is it a passion now? No. Nah. Depends. Yeah, yeah. If I'm like stoked on something, yeah, yeah, I get really hyped. If like a band comes to me and I'm like, yo, like a lot of times, band, like especially lately, like since the last time we talked, like that was what? That was like a year ago, which like, like I was that, already yeah. doing it full time a year ago for probably yeah. like six, seven months, but now I'm probably like a year and a half in. So I have, thankfully, over the past year, like more bands come to me where it's like, Yo, like, all right, cool. I'm working on this, but I'm also like gonna go into like, you know, I'm like this song's going on my shit. Like I'm cool. I'm yeah. saving this song, yeah, like yeah. this song bangs, like yep. that's happening more, which is always good because I want like I I'll, I'll still help anybody, but I want like, you know, it's I want fun. bands to yeah. send me some bangers, bro. Definitely. Like that's definitely that's the stuff that goes 
sick and Definitely. I like really like working on like like I said I'll st- I'll do stuff for anybody but like I don't know I don't want to talk shit but like Definitely it's the similar thing with music like videos, if someone like, sends me a country song like, I'll do it and it's fine like prove me wrong make me like yeah. make me like the country song Yeah you know but I bet it's similar like for me with music videos definitely if the song is something that would be in my playlist anyway it's more fun but like yeah. if the person is someone I can buy into then or I'll that do too. any that's, song that's fair too and though because sometimes like nece- not necessarily like I'll, I'll dislike a band I shouldn't say that but like it might not be my cup of tea but like I really like the people and they're, like, they're fun to hang out with and like talk yeah. with and so I won't even mind like there's some bands where it's like I just talk to one dude and that's it and it's super like it's fine it's cool yeah. like what I do is like will work you know for however many months even if it's just one month and there's literally some bands where i'll talk to on you know leading up to it and then i'll talk to them on day one when we start and then i literally won't talk to them again until we're done and it's fine because like as long as things are going well like if i'm not hitting you up like constantly that's yeah. probably a good thing because it just yeah. means that everything's good like yeah nothing's going wrong i'm not stressed being like yo we need to fix this out of nowhere like whatever um what is that? We're getting robbed or something. Okay. I don't oh, know. Oh, it's not Someone's a walking by, dude. Um, dude, don't give away our location. Damn, I got... It's a secret. It's a bunker. Damn, what was I just saying? Uh, you're talking about how Thanks some clients are easier to work up. with than others and how sometimes, like, um, if it's going well, you won't need to be in touch with them every day. Yeah, and... like, you know, if I wake up, they're literally, every single day, the first thing I do when I wake up is, like, have a little app on my phone, like... I work on my phone, honestly, like 90% of the time. Like That's interesting. Only the computer, like, the only stuff I do on the computer is the actual, like, me setting the shit up for the yeah. bands. If I'm, like, changing things or making little edits or monitoring things, like, I all, it's all apps, baby. Like, I'm just on my phone, so I can kind of do it anywhere. So I'll just be in bed and I'll, like, roll over at, like, yep. 10 a.m. or whatever because I'm not a morning person. Yep. And then I'll literally, in, like, the Facebook, like, uh, business app, if your account gets suspended, it like says fuck you and it puts it all the way to the bottom and it's all in red and it looks scary. Yeah, yeah. So I wake up and I roll over and I open that app and I <laughs> scroll see. all the way yeah. down through all the bands I'm working with to the bottom to see if anyone's shit got fucked up. And sometimes, like literally there's one day, like kind of recently I did that and there were like three. Nice. And I had to hit everyone up like, yo, what the fuck? What's wrong? Yo. Like, what's good? Yeah. Um, usually it's none though. So that's that's good. Like today there was none. Hell yeah. I was like, cool, that's great. How has it been uh, working from your phone? So this is a uh, it's an interesting since like the everyone is now working from home. Yeah. Uh, or more people are. It's been interesting where like I felt like I was doing that for a while and now other people have started doing it and I can now share experiences and learn. Like mm-hmm. and for me working from my phone was like it still is kind of hard. Like it's I like separating my like I need to shut off my business at some point and just be me and I'm very yeah. bad at that. And my phone Same. is like a weird gray area of yeah. that of like. I'm never going to put my phone like away and I also am never going to tell you not to text me, but if it's after a certain time, I might not answer until the next day. Yeah. But also like, yeah, I don't know. How has it been trying to separate work and life given that your phone is like the way I do it is my, like I use social media. Obviously everyone does yeah. like my, like Twitter and my Instagram, like that's me. Like I'll post shit all day. Like I post stuff that I do in like stories all the time. And like I'll, Twitter doesn't really give a fuck, but like I'll still go on, every month or two and be like, Hey, here's some shit I worked on. Like yeah. pay me. I don't fucking know. Um, my <laughs> face, casual my marketing. face, dude, that's, well, that's another <laughs> conversation, but, um, my Facebook is just like, I don't care. Like no one, I hate Facebook so much yeah. more than anything, but it's where literally 95% of anyone who finds me or pays me for anything comes from it's all facebook because it's just banned people like banned people use facebook they have to yeah so they're kind of on there naturally i'll get some stuff off instagram every once in a while i've maybe gotten one thing off twitter in like the year and a half that i've been doing this full time um maybe one um but yeah mostly facebook so basically i'll just use facebook messenger as my like work stuff Mm -hmm. So if it's like, oh, that's nice. If it's okay. like 8 p.m., I do now bands do have my number too because I don't care. I'll just give bands my number Same, and yeah. shit too. Um, so that it's whatever. But mostly it's like cool. If I'm done working for the day and I'm like cool, I don't feel like doing anything. I just won't open Facebook Messenger until the next day because gotcha. like if someone hits me up on there like hey I want to hire you, it's like okay it's nine at night. I want to watch a movie or some yeah, shit i'm with I'll my parents we'll talk do to it in the yeah. morning or whatever yeah um and then there's other days where it's 3 a.m 
and someone will hit me up and I'm just like, hey, dude, like, I'm, <laughs> like way too fast. Like yeah. they'll message me thinking like, oh, he's probably asleep. Like he'll see it in the morning, but I don't want to like, you know, forget to send it. Yep. And I'll respond and like open it in like 30 seconds. And they're probably just like, yo, who's this person who's like, <laughs> hey, he's I'm committed. Up, he's on the ground. Like, I like a lot of people that do this for bands. Like I shouldn't say that because I only know like a few, but like, I don't know how many people that do this. Like if a song drops, like on a Friday, right? I'm up Thursday night at midnight, right? Right. When the song drops doing shit. Like, I feel like a lot of people wait. Like, it'll be on, you know, Friday, but maybe they'll do it Friday afternoon or Friday in the morning. But I'm super, like, I want this shit to, like, go off right from the get-go. So yeah. I am, like, doing your stuff before I go to bed on the night it drops. And, like, there's some times where I'll even message bands, like, I don't know, the stuff I did. I'm like, hey, dudes, we're all good. Like, everything should be live by morning and everything. And, like, no one's awake. Like, no one in the band stayed up for their own song release, which always blows my mind. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to hate because, like, people have lives and stuff. But yeah. it always blows. Like, I've never done that. Even when I was in, like, high school and shit. Like, if I put out a song, like, I'm up. Like, I'm awake immediately. What kind of things are happening at midnight on, like, as, yeah, release comes out at 12.01. What kind of things are you doing at 11.55 to help that process? Um, well... Usually before 11.55, but I will I just have a few accounts that like bands make that I go in and do a bunch of stuff in and make sure everything is working correctly. Um, and then I will take their music video and make a bunch of like clips and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I'll, I try to do that like as ahead of time as possible so it's not like an hour before. And I'm like, shit, shit, shit. That I use an app for too. <laughs> I don't even use like iMovie. Well, I do, but it's just on my phone. But Hell yeah. I don't even use like any crazy editing thing like because the music video is already done. So if the music video mm -hmm. person did their job and it looks good, then I'm like, cool. Let me just like clip this up, mm -hmm. make them, you know, story kind of format shit, like other other kind of stuff. Um, just do that in an app. Get all that ready to go. That's pretty much it. And then once midnight hits, that's when I actually start doing stuff and I'll like make, you know, their special link with all the uh, services like Spotify and whatever on. Got so it. I'll send okay. that to them. That's probably the first thing I do. Um then if they're doing, like, if it's Facebook and Instagram stuff, I'll do that first. Um, and then if it's YouTube stuff, I'll wait and do that after because that's not as, like, important Time important sensitive. that you get that, like, got as it. fast. It doesn't really matter. Um, so that's kind of what I do. And then some nights I'll have, like, my max is, like, four. So if on any given, like, Thursday, because usually songs come out on Fridays. So if it's... I don't know, like this Thursday, I don't have anything, but then next week I have like three things. So if like I can maybe handle one more and then I'll, I haven't had to cap it yet. Cause no, I've never had more than four in a single night. Mm -hmm. I've had four in one night and then something random, like the following day. So yeah. that's technically five but four I found is my max. Cause I'll be up until like four in the morning. And then by then I'm like zombie mode and I can't function. So I'm like, all right, you're not going to benefit from me yeah. working on your stuff if I'm There's something dying. so satisfying about finding that limit of going like, oh, wow, this is like the, um, the maximum amount I can get done. And now I could focus on making this time good instead of just filling this time. Yeah. And that's an exciting like, yeah, corner to turn of like, oh, shit, this is now a thing and I can now make it a better thing instead of just trying to prove that it is actually <laughs> the yeah. thing I thought it was. Yeah, definitely. Um, hell yeah. So you mentioned that you... Like, it's more fun working on songs that are more interesting to you. Mm -hmm. I think you've also gotten to work on some bands that are, like, that you actually listen to or yeah, have been listening to for a while. For sure. What is, yeah, what's one of those, What how's that been when the band hits you up and you've been listening to them for a decade? Um, Kind of sick. Um, There's one, I mean, it's no one big really yet. So, I mean, it's, it's like, but I still like a lot of, like, small bands. So, for like, sure. um, my, uh. Probably one cool one is Downswing because mm -hmm. I liked Downswing for like a while and we did Warped in 2018. I think that was that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did 2018. We did like a week of Warped and they played that and I remember I watched them a couple days and I was like, yo, this band's kind of sick. And like I didn't meet them. I didn't say what's up or whatever. I was just like, oh, this band's cool. And like four years later, their producer hooked me up with them. And so that's cool. Like. And their shit's sick. Like, I like that band a lot. So working on that's been cool. Um, fucking, uh, the recent one was uh, Tom Denny from A Day to Remember's new band, which was so random. Like, <laughs> okay, sure, let's do it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, 
Wade from Secrets manages him, so he hit me up and was like, yo, do you want to do this? Like, he needs somebody. It's like an internet thing. Like, yeah. He doesn't want to, I assume he doesn't want to pay someone a billion dollars to do stuff. So I was like, all right, I'll do it. Like, let's go. Perfect. And it's like going pretty well. Like, for a brand new band, just yeah. out of nowhere, I was like, sick, let's, let's go. Do you feel like you're continuing to get better results out of the campaigns? Or is the, yeah, what is it, cost per, what's the, the <sighs> metric? it's it depends because okay. sometimes it really doesn't matter like you a band could give me a thousand dollars and they could like at the end of the day it's up to the song itself because you can get let's say let's say it takes i don't know 50 cents to get someone to do something right and they give me a thousand dollars that's two thousand people that we got to listen to this song and that's just a random sure thing now that could equal two thousand streams or if your song is sick and everyone that we were hitting is like really into it. And they all listen to it five times. That's 10,000 streams off the same amount of money. Okay. Or, you know, a lot of, ideally we get stuff that's like 20 cents or, and below. Um, so, you know, that thousand dollars is going to stretch you way longer. Um, so a lot of times now, like definitely my numbers now are better than when we first started. Um, I'm also having more bands come to me that are just down to like send it, mm -hmm. which is sick. That's fun. Like, I've had a couple bands come to me at, like, three grand in, like, a month. Which is, like, probably, like, if anyone, like, that works with, like, bigger bands stumbles across this for some reason, that's probably, like, still shitty. Sure. Like, I don't know how much big... I still don't know how much... You asked me that last time, and I still don't know. Because, like, to me, three grand in, like, a month is, like, a lot. And I'll, I'll do shit. Like, dude, like, this band, uh, they're called Born Astray, mm -hmm. are coming to me right now. They're sick, also. But, uh, you know, we did some stuff for them, like earlier this year it was like their second song ever and like they're pretty good and then you know they're only at, they were at like a few hundred monthly listeners like nothing crazy and then they came to me with a new song and they were just down to like go crazy like they were just like yo just let's just go all in this song is sick this video is sick let's just go so i was like all right cool so we like let's do it, yeah they dropped like a lot of money on it and literally we've only been going for like two three weeks they're already they're like their numbers are like i think it's already their most streamed song like it passed out the other ones that have been out for like a year. Hell yeah. Uh, they're up like 10,000 something monthly listeners, which is still like in the grand scheme of things, it's like not a lot, but up from like a couple hundred is like crazy Definitely. in a couple of weeks. Like that's nuts to me. So it'll be cool to see like, as we keep going, like for more and more months, like where they're at by the end of this. Cause they're, you know, good band. Like they're down to, they're down, they're down to drop the bucks. Has it changed like how you consume content? So for me, as I, uh, as I watch music videos, as I watch TVs, as I drive past and I see a billboard, it's like I see the picture of the person on the billboard and I go, oh, I can like imagine the studio they were in and like put myself in that place. Or as I watch TV, it's like, oh, I know there were three people behind the camera and there was a mic over their head and you can envision that. Like yeah. as you're consuming ads now, are you going, oh, that's why this is on my computer? Or like, yeah, does it change that? Kind of. Ads like don't work on me, which is weird. It's okay. just like weird that I like got into this because like I've never... Like, I could probably count on one hand, at least music ads. Like, obviously, like, McDonald's and shit. Like, they're spending a mm -hmm. billion dollars on ads, like, a year. Yeah. Like, I got McDonald's a bunch this year. It's probably subconsciously due to whatever, weird, whatever yeah. they're doing. Yeah. I don't know. But music ads in particular, like, I can probably count on one hand the amount of times I've checked out a band off an ad. Interesting. But whenever I do, I'm like, oh, I'm glad I did this. Like, cool. I'm just not someone, like, I just find bands differently. I don't know how. It just kind of happens. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's kind of weird that I, that's like my thing now is that I'm sending out all these ads that are working and getting people to check out bands. Interesting. Um, but I'll see bands do stuff sometimes and I'm like, okay, that's wrong. Yeah. Like wish you, wish you, wish you came to me, but whatever. That's really the only yeah. thing though. I can relate from a music video perspective. Like, yeah, I'm not really a big cinema guy. I don't watch a lot of movies or TV. Yeah. Like I, I don't consume that much and I definitely did a lot more growing up and now yeah, it just isn't something I make time for and prioritize a lot. The worst, the worst one where that's a thing is like the studio shit. Because mm -hmm. now I'll hear like, you'll go back and listen to a song that you really liked when you were like 15. And you're like, dude, this is like the worst mix I've ever heard in my life. And yeah. sometimes it doesn't matter because it's like, all right, like it's for the time and it was cool. And it's like yeah. has character to it. Sometimes it's like too much, though. It's like too bad. Yep. There's a couple songs where I'm like, dude, this is like unlistenable. I can't do it anymore. Actually, the um, that first Reflections EP was like that for me, and they re-recorded it like this year, and that dropped 
kind of out of nowhere and now it has like the sickest mix oh, ever yeah. <laughs> and i'm like dude i'm never listening to that old version again i like deleted it off my phone because i liked all those songs but yep. i was like dude like i hate this this is so bad i never realized when i was younger how bad this was and yeah. now it's like fire it's now that they re-recorded it like let's go like more bands should do that silverstein does that too okay that's like my favorite band and they went in during like the pandemic and they did two albums of just like re-recorded songs and like reimagined songs and they all sound sick Hell yeah. Um, so I like when bands do that kind of stuff. So then where, what's next? Like is a, yeah, where does the marketing go for you? Is it, are you happy pursuing it for the foreseeable future? Is there a, a next step or next level that's interesting? I know, I think I saw you were marketing like a, like some kind of skit, some kind of short thing. Of some that variety. was like, that was just a band that like, we were running stuff for like a few weeks mm -hmm. and it was the last week of the month and they were like, yo, we did like this like funny little TikTok like skit do you want to just like try and just see if it works? And I was like, sure. Like we could try. So we like put a little bit of money on it and like sent it out. And like by the, by the end of the week, like I just finished up with them yesterday and I was almost like, fuck dude, we should have just done this right from the beginning. Cause it actually did better than it did better than the normal music video did. And like, which is weird to me. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm not, like I said, I'm not someone that like gets into things that way but people are and it works. So who am I to like argue about it? So I was, I literally told them, I was like, all right, dude, next time you have a song, we'll do what we do normally, but send me one of these two because this, in this case it worked better. So I'm always down to like learn new things and like mess around. Um, the other thing is I want to do more, um, like tour stuff. Kinda. That's probably eventually where it's going to go. The only problem I'm running into now is that not a lot of bands are down to do it the right way. Okay. Um, so I'm kind of, cause I'm cool doing what I'm doing now just for as long as I can, which is just like helping with releases and Spotify and YouTube and Instagram and whatever doing all that. Cool. I'm fine. Um, I did like dream wakes tour stuff. Um, which unfortunately their shit got all messed up. Like, Show oh, the boys. like a weekend, yeah, that's heartbreaking. but, so heartbreaking. but that first week, dude, like, they were, they were hitting me up, like, every day. Like, dude, like, we've never been to any of these cities before. And it wasn't, it's not like it's fucking packed or anything. Yeah. It's like your band touring in a place for the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if there's only, like, 40, 50 people. But they were, like, dude, like, they were half sold out of all their merch in, like, a week. That's awesome. And they were, Good like, dude, we've already made back the money that we, like, spent with you on this stuff, like... All these shows are really good. Like people know the words. Like every city. Good for them, dude. Um, That's awesome. Unfortunately, we did not get to see how the rest of the tour went as their <laughs> van blew up. Um, but hey, next time it'll happen. Um, but yeah, if, like if if bands hit me up now and it's like their tour starts in two days and they're like, hey, can we do tour stuff? I'm gonna be like, no, because I want to. If I, I'm not gonna do it and waste your money if it's not the right way. So what is the right way or what is the wrong way there? The, the reason with Dreamwake that it worked is because we were already running ads. Like I did stuff for their whole album release, mm -hmm. which was a year ago pretty much. So we were running ads for the whole year already, just constantly. So there's momentum. Not like a crazy there. amount of like money like in the, you know, when, the, when it dropped, like we dropped a lot on it. But, you know, they at least kept, you know, we were doing whatever certain little amount per day just to keep stuff going every once in a while they would drop something new we'd put a little more on um just a manageable amount and we were doing that for a year and then they told me about the tour a couple months in advance so we had time it wasn't like a week before or two days before or whatever um so then in that two weeks we shifted from or two months we shifted from cool i'm doing all these ads and they're you know some were united states some were going all over the place which is kind of just what i always do now I was like, all right, cool. For this month, like before the tour was even announced, I was like, we're going to already start hitting though. I think it was like 15 or 16 cities. That's so smart. I was like, cool. We're going to hit these cities only for a whole month and see what that gets us. So we did that for a month. Then the tour got announced. And so then the whole month leading up to the tour, we kept hitting those cities with like our regular ads, like for Spotify stuff. But then we also did for each city, like their own specific show ad and then they were those all those ads were only going to the people who had like gone through and checked them out on spotify or at, at the very least liked a post just interacted with them okay. somehow so all their people in those cities which it was fresh in their mind too because they were seeing mm -hmm. ads and shit from them in the whole month prior um 
So all of those ads, like we ran into a couple weird ones. I remember like a date got changed, which is one I was stressed out about. I think it was like supposed to be Nashville and it ended up being Memphis. Okay. So I was kind of like in my mind, I was like, shit, we just spent a whole month hitting Nashville. And now I'm going to be doing ads for the show and there's going to be no one for it to go to. But even that, I just ended up doing like, I don't know, for them, it was like North Lane and like Era and stuff like mm. that. Just, I was like, cool. I don't know how this one's going to go. I'm just going to do it. The other one should be fine. And then I remember after after that show, they hit me up and they were like, yo, that was actually the best one, like at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, okay, like, cool, bet. Cool, yeah. Something worked. Cool. That's sick. Hell yeah. Um, Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's cool. I want to do more of that if, if bands are down to like, it just sucks because it, there is, it is a bit of an investment, but you just have to trust that like, one, your music has to be good because no one's going to come to your tour if it's not. So, I mean, that's the first step. <laughs> um. Two, you do have to drop a good amount of money just, like, getting people in those cities, like, acclimated, or I don't know what the word is, like, just into your band ahead of time enough to where when you come and do a show, they're like, oh, all right, I might go, like, we'll see. Um, yeah. Interesting. There's a, yeah, a name recognition thing, a brand recognition yeah, thing Yeah, for there. sure. Yeah, how many times do I see DreamWake's name before I end up at a DreamWake show? Yeah. Uh, and I've always, I've always taken that in the, the photo business as I first started shooting I printed out like thousands of business cards and yeah. I would just bring like st- like piles of them to every concert and it was like dude I'm not leaving here until I've given every one of these people yeah. one of my business I think cards I have one of your stickers still uh, I hope so if I did my job well and I like I I don't know where though I'm trying to think of where we where I have it I see how it is that's cool it's somewhere uh, no, that's it's cool. in that's my cool. house somewhere I have it it's like on something I just can't think of what it's on it's not my guitar case my guitar case has other ones it's all good. Um, uh, but yeah, I think in hindsight, I look back and it's like, I definitely probably punished people probably was a little bit too, uh, nah, you're good. too eager to some people. Nah. But I think that idea of like, yeah, no one's going to care about me the first time they hear my name. But if by the 10th time, like they kind of have to care, yeah. either they're annoyed by me or they like, one, something's going to happen. Something will change. As someone who's uh, met a lot of annoying people, you're not annoying. Well, so. I appreciate that. I think if I'm coming up to you at the show, I might, might be different. And then you also get like, I come up and like, hey, you know, my name's Peter, here's blah, blah, blah. And then 10 minutes later, I forget. I don't recognize you. And I come oh, back up and I'm like, hey, just, you know, and they're like, oh, no, I got this. That's it's bad, like, though. My bad. You learn. Fuck. You learn, you learn, you learn. Dude, but- we, <laughs> we played Massachusetts on Friday and we hadn't yep. been there in like a while. And I had met someone at like the last, Har- one of the last Hartford shows we did. But they were also at this show. And we were talking and I knew I had met him and I like, I knew it. Like I recognized him and we were mm-hmm. talking and I rec- and I knew who he was. And then midway through the conversation, he like mentioned something. And I was like, I literally was just like, oh, you're that dude. I was like, I was straight up with him. I was like, I knew, I knew I knew you, <laughs> but I forgot who you were until, until you said that. Dude, all the time. Yeah. And, and it was kind of funny. But. Just trying to like keep your cards close and like not show that you don't know them, but still be friendly yeah. with them. And, yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a weird, and I'm sure yours is similar. Like at this point you've worked with more bands than you could possibly know. Like, uh, yeah. yeah, if or in terms of like, or... in terms of like in person, like there's some. It depends how close I am with the band. Sure. Like there's a lot that I work with like every month. And if I ran into, if one of them was randomly in my area and I ran into them at the grocery store, like mm-hmm. I would instantly be like, "Yo, what the yeah. hell? Like, what's up? What's yep. good?" And then there are others where it's like, "Cool, I worked with this band for a month, like six months ago, and I only talked to one dude in the band, and also I didn't like." really pay attention to his profile picture or what he looked like. So if that dude could be next to me at like a Walmart and I wouldn't even know. Dude, um, I've got both sides of that. Uh, so recently I went to a, uh, I was, I work at a lot of college events. And yeah. so when I, I do a lot of interviews with students. And so I like by watching the interviews and like hearing the voice and then you end up changing the sentence and changing words and deleting an um. And like, I end up so spending so much time with this person who doesn't really remember I exist. Cause we only talk for yeah. two minutes on camera and then I'll go back to campus the next year and like I see them, and in my brain it's like, oh, that's my friend. And you got to be like, wait, no, they don't know. Damn, I, they have it's like no the opposite. Idea. Damn, it's that's so crazy. weird. But then there's the also like I've gone. I was at a local show uh, four or five months ago, and I walked in, and some guy at the door was like, hey man, you took my picture a couple years ago, and like I appreciate it, thank you. And it was so cool. It was humbling to like yeah, have someone out of nowhere. I didn't yeah. have my camera. I was just kind of there. But it was also like, dude, I I don't recognize you. I don't think I've ever seen you in my life. 
and I know that I'm the idiot here. I just have taken pictures of more people than I can recognize. Well, yeah, each band has like four or five people in it, and then if yeah. it's a show and there's five bands, then it's like, cool, that's like 20 people. But the flip side is maybe one of his bandmates had a pimple that I took out 100 times, and now when I see his face, I'm like, holy shit, I remember you from seven years ago because I took out that pimple 100 times in all your Hell photos. yeah. So there's a weird, like, yeah, blindness and also, like, yeah, people that I know who have no idea that I know them. Yeah. <laughs> they both make me laugh sometimes. That's um, sick. But hell yeah, dude. I think I think we're at a good spot. What are we doing here? Like half an hour? Dude, I don't 31, know. 31, 47. That's nothing. Dude, perfect. That's a good starter episode. Yeah, dude. We did it. Hell yeah. We did it. We did it. We did it. Um, I'm looking at my little cheat sheet here. I know. It's good. Fun. Um, we can end on a fun note. The only other... Let's see. The this isn't necessarily a fun question, but what problems have you solved? That's, so that's the opposite of it's fun. It's the opposite of a fun question. The reason I ask it is because uh, when I started this business, I never would have imagined all the dumb problems that you run into from uh, being an electrician. Like I would, uh, I have to learn about power. I have to learn about how many watts and amps a, a light bo- uh, a circuit can put out yeah. without blowing stuff. And I was just at a show. I was just at a show the other day where they turned on the generator too early. And blew seventy thousand dollars of audio equipment. That's crazy. And then that was three hours before the show. That's crazy. So that it was like, can we get a replacement so that we can then have the show? And it was a nightmare. But so like, yeah, having to be electricity is something of like that I don't, I don't me. care, and I don't want to know, but I have to now. It is. I was I have a, to be aware. I was an LD at <laughs> the Webster Let's one go, dude. one night, and that was my biggest where I thought I was going to blow, blow myself up or 100%. blow something else up. Yeah. I was told I was button mashing all night, which I was hype on. And Let's then, go. like, at one point, I think it was, like, a Chelsea Grin show. Mm-hmm. And someone from Chelsea Grin came over to me and just gives me all these giant cables. He's like, here you go. And yeah, I was yeah. like, <laughs> I was like, bro, I got hit up for this this morning. I've never done this before. So I had to go to someone that else that worked there. I was like, dude. Yep. What do I do with these? And they're like, oh, you have to plug them into this big ass fucking they're crazy. power thing. And I, I was exactly like, about. no, you're going to do it for me. I'm going to watch you. And they were like, okay. So they did it. Yeah. And then, yeah, yeah. I was like, dude, I'm not going to blow. I'm not going to ruin this whole show because I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, yep. What problems have I solved though? Um, so I think when I'm thinking about advertising, it's just like, uh, yeah, social problems. Has, it, has there been a work-life balance problem? Has there been a uh, I didn't have enough time. You said you kind of reached a limit of bands at one point. I'm, I'm spitballing. Work here. life balance is like weird because, like you said, with the phone thing, it blurs a lot. So I'll like, there'll be a week where I'm like, you know, if you have a normal job like in America, it's like you're working a 40 hour week. For the longest time, I was like, dude, I don't work fucking 40 hours. Like, there's no way. Mm-hmm. Um, but if you but I wasn't considering like how many people I talk to every week, like yep. shit that doesn't feel like work. Like me yeah. sitting down for 20 minutes and messaging someone back and forth, like that's interested, like, hey, I might come to you, like, what's up? Like, let's talk for a minute. That doesn't feel like work, but it technically is. Mm-hmm. So I don't really know how much I work per week, but more just like being efficient, like mm-hmm. in terms of how I talk to people has saved me a lot of time. Um, like I used to, when I first started, I would straight up like, sit for like an hour and explain everything i'm terrible at that like i still i have to for work on that. like to the person mm-hmm. and half the time they would just be like yeah cool and then yeah. never hit me up yeah now it's like at one point this is, it's been a while now but at one point i was like cool let me get like you know a big thing of just everything i do mm-hmm. typed it. i literally have it just in my notes app <laughs> just, and i've edited it to be per- perfect so that and I've gotten there because I've the past like twenty times I've sent it out, no one has come back with any questions. My guy, finally. What is it going to take for your business to graduate out of the notes app? It's not. Dude. That is the ultimate goal for you. That's dude. what's next. That answers this last stupid question. I. Uh, what problems have you solved? What are we going to do to change the notes app? We're not gonna. <laughs> How are we going to make this better? At this point, it's funny. I was talking with someone about it this is. the other day. Actually, it's it literally so funny. Yeah. My I keep track of all. My finances. Dude, Sean was yelling at me the other day. He has like a Google. He just, he, he, his is simple too. But he has like a Google Doc thing. And it's just like a, or Excel thing or whatever the fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, dude, I, it's just like putting in a notes app, except it's just like in a little chart thing and it adds it up for you. And if you have an expense, you can put it in here and it takes it out, which I don't really have any expenses with, mm-hmm. with my shit. Unless I had to like buy a new laptop, but like whatever. Once a year, yeah. 
who do I hope not. But fucking fair, fair. Um, dude, I'm using my like 2014 like MacBook still. King it's shit. fine. It's, it's chilling. Dude. Yeah. I jinxed Profit it, dude. Margins. I jinxed get an it. It's gonna break. Fuck no. I hate those things. Fair. Okay. Um, but he was like, dude. He's like, I'll literally send you this Excel thing, yeah. like just so you can do it. And I was like, why? I have the notes app. I could just like, this person paid me, put it there. This person paid me, put it there. Boom. That's crazy. It's just dude. all in the notes app, dude. Like literally, it's Ugh. that one. I have a list of like, because people will hit me up and be like hey, can you send me some stuff you've worked on? Like, I'm not familiar mm-hmm. with you. So I have a list of, like, shit that I'm, like, really happy with that I could just mm-hmm. link real fast. I have um, my rundown thing of, like, everything I do that I send to people so they hopefully don't have a million questions for me. Is that, me. like, a, a paragraph, five paragraphs? It's, like, like... S- definitely, like, five or six paragraphs. Okay. Um, just, kind of like, different options I have yeah. and, like, different shit. And we'll talk after that, usually... But, like, for the most part, now I've got, like I said, I got it to a point where the past, like, 20 times I've sent it, no one, everyone's understood. Before that, there would always be a couple things that, like, get lost somehow. I thought I was being mm-hmm. clear. Like, it, I had, like, I got pissed the other week because, like, something stupid happened. And it was not my fault, but for the record. I'm not going to, like, <laughs> make a big deal about it. But it was not my fault. Because I so, like, dude, like, I could not be more clear in the way I, like, word things on how this works. Yep. And I literally went in and made it even, I was like, how can I make this stupidly clear? Yep. And I went in and I, it's, it's kind of dumb now. Like, I read it back and I was like, dude, like, I don't like this. But since I changed it, no mm-hmm. one has had any questions. Like, I repeat myself, like, 16 times in it. But I don't care because if I don't, mm-hmm. then people get confused. It's absurd. Um, so that's another yeah. problem that I, I think I solved. Um, and then the other one, the, maybe only last thing is like sometimes, which is cool for me because like helps me, you know, the imposter syndrome type shit. Mm-hmm. Sometimes a band will come to me like this one band from Germany has been coming to me since like April. And we were doing some stuff or like maybe, I don't know. But we're like, when was April? May, June, July, August, September. <laughs> we're like eight months in now, seven months in. I can't count. I didn't know my months till like high school. Dude, so it's I can't chill. think right my now. My family makes fun of me to this day for not knowing my months in order. Um, I think I got it now. It's but fine. That's... But yeah, we're like seven, eight months in and like they were doing okay. And then like finally they, they put out some new stuff in like the past couple months. Like it's been going really well. And he hit me up and was just like, dude, like straight up, like we've tried so many things in like the past. I don't know how long they've been a band for, maybe only a couple of years. But he was like, dude, we've tried this and we've tried that. And we've really tried to like get more people into us and like it wasn't till like we started doing shit with you that we like finally are seeing like things moving and like things like momentum and and stuff and i was like word like that's sick i like i solved your problem like i don't know how, really how i did it because i do like kind of the same thing for everybody but i was like sick i'm glad that i was able to do that for you i'm sure it's similar uh with cameras i talk a lot about how there's no barrier to entry So all you have to be able to do is buy a camera. And even that is like, you kind of can just use your phone at this point. So there's not like a college degree you need to get in the door. And because of that, there's a lot of people with bad intentions or malicious people or just dumb people, whatever the critical term you would use of those people are. And I assume in advertising, there's a lot of similar like, yeah, I'll take your money and get you views. Of course, I'll take your money and get you views. A lot of it's just so many bad people. Uh, There's so many. Fortunately, the people I know that do this are like good people. And they've definitely helped me, like, yeah. learn as, like, or just, like, giving advice and yep. whatnot. Um, yeah, dude. I feel like even for bands, there's, like, a, um, what were you saying? Like, an entry. A barrier level, to entry. Kind yeah. of, dude, because, like, being in a band's expensive, mm-hmm. like. And then if you want to do ads on top of all that. Or you need four friends. You have to be able to be in a room with four people for long enough to be in a band. Even that is a barrier. Uh, even, exactly. even that. Not yeah. even talking money. Uh, exactly. Yeah. You have to find four people Finding, who like yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> or like you it's enough crazy dude <laughs> uh, i don't know how i do that and this at the same time but last question for you my king who is the number who's the band artist project that you're gonna that you're gonna do in 10 years it's gonna be a million dollar project dude. and it's gonna be who do i want to do yeah who is i don't it? know who's sick hmm you're, it's gonna happen so you better pick care i don't know you're dude. changing that's your whole a, life that's right such now. an on the spot question i know dude. yeah it seemed like a good idea before i said it i but. could go crazy or i could like keep it realistic which is i like, mean for sure oh it's end crazy maybe i'll do give the people something to think about maybe i'll give do one, one. For thought. well like silverstein's like my favorite band so Fire. if i ever got to do anything with them that'd Fire. be sick 
But like it sucks because like bands are on labels and shit, so labels have people for that. So unless I like got gotcha. hired at a label, then okay. it would be like a different thing. I don't know. Uh, Is that at all interesting to you? Um, if they like, if I knew that I was gonna, the only difference would be like if they were just paying me more money. Yeah. To like do it. Um, because if not, like, or or labels will even go and hire like outside companies, mm-hmm. but they just have a company that they happen to go to every time. Um. So, I mean, I would. It would just have to be, you know, the right amount of money. Because I'm, like, fine now. Like, I'm I'm yeah. kind of chilling. So, yeah. uh, so, Silverstein. And then Silverstein would be the, sick. I don't know, I'm dude. Waiting for I'm this. trying I, to do, like, fucking. I'm trying to do, like, Dua Lipa, bro. Yo, there's going to be a good tough, one in there. Yo, Dua yeah. Lipa or, like, I don't know. Uh, like, the 1975 or some that'd crazy shit. Like, that'd be sick. That'd be wild. That'd be, that'd be, that'd be dope. But well, enjoy, my man. Thank you. I Thanks hope. for coming on. Of course. See you with the 1975 in 10 years and Damn, we'll talk Damn, dude. Then. It's crazy. <laughs>